Hello guys, I'm teacher Nora, sharing my skills in stenography. It's Greg Speed Building, our reference from now on. I studied stenography in Philippine College of Commerce, which is now we call Polytechnic University of the Philippines. I'm 68 years old and I'm just starting now to share my skills in stenography. It's better late than never. Ang stenography, ang way ko, kaya ako nakatapos ng Associate in Arts in Philippine College of Commerce. I didn't know then that stenography was part of the subject. So, I began to love stenography at nagamit ko ito for 30 years. Yes, 30 years. Because during that time, in the 1980s, secretaries are accepted when they are well versed in typing, English, and stenography. During that time, I, my speed in typing was 80 words per minute and 90 words per minute in stenography. And napakadali kong mapasok sa company and the uh, longest is at Royal International Insurance. Doon, ang aking mga employers ay mga foreigners, all British. So, bawal lang Tagalog doon. So, it's good na naka-enroll ako sa PCC. You know what? At, I think until now, PUP or PCC is the best university or college for commerce. Kasi galing ako doon. And sa mga kabataan before and sa mga oldies now, masasabi nila talaga na best ang PCC or PUP para sa course na commerce, especially in stenography and typing. I was blessed during that time because marami pa nag-hire ng secretaries na gamit ang skills ng stenography and typing. However, as you know, ngayon, bihira na ang kumukuha ng secretaries or gamit yung stenography. However, bakit kailan pa din natin ng stenography? I think this is an art, this is a hobby, and this is, this is also much help to all students, especially. Why? Because... Maraming professors ang napaka-bilis mag-explain on the board, ba? At hindi ka makaka-catch up on your lessons. Maliban na lang kung mabilis ka magsulat. What if hindi ka fast in writing? So here comes Steno. If you learned Steno, sisiw lang ang mga pinasabi ng mga professors ninyo. Yes, baka hindi pa tapos magsalitang professor mo, tapos ka na kasi alam mo na ang susunod niya sasabihin na stay na mo na, ba? Especially pagkabisado mo na ang iyong guro. So, another is, if you are the person who is very fond of politics, yan, and employees who attend or who attend conferences, training and seminars, stenography is best for you. Ang stenography ay hindi napapase or hindi na wawala sa course or pag-aaral. You need it. At napakaganda ng stenography because this is an art of cursive writing. And May papasa mo din ito sa iyong family members. 
lalo na ang mga bata, and get them excited. Because if they can draw, they can also write. Mamamangha sila, like my grandchild, granddaughter, namangha siya, may, nung may nabasa akong feature on steno, nabasa ko sa kanya, clear, exact. So, yun, nag-encourage sa akin, Mami La, why don't you blog steno? So here I am, encouraged to share not only to one but to many who are interested. And many bloggers start with the alphabet. You must memorize first the basic alphabet and the sounds. If not, you can't go any further, I'm telling you. Ganon din sa mga uh, preparatory kids. Although they can sing the alphabet, but if they cannot pronounce the alphabet or sound the alphabet well, I'm sorry to say that they can't read. There was an in or there is an Indian film. Uh, I forgot the name of that boy. Na talaga ostracization ng society, ng family, ng school. At lagi siyang pinapalabas ng room. Because he cannot read. And he can't write. But then, here is a very kind, sympathetic, uh, passionate teacher who saw him. And from there on, imagine that he still made an effort to look for the boy's family and find out why is that boy illiterate. So finally, he found out that the boy could not decipher the sounds of the alphabet. So then the teacher, in short, began to teach him very well in all forms of teaching the alphabet, especially the sounds. He used many tactics in teaching the little boy and so finally the father was so happy and cried even when he realized that the boy his son can read he can only read, but he could also paint and draw very well. So, in short, the boy graduated and became very well known in his school. And the parents, first of all, was very happy and very happy also with the teacher. And I hope all teachers will feel the same towards every stu student who cannot cope with his studies. Going back in understanding Steno and for you to read fast and write fast, first you must sound the alphabet and the alphabet we begin. I hope we will continue to be together until until rather 
you finish the lessons of great speed, speed building series 90. I'm very sure that if you memorize everything here, the strokes, you will get a long way. And I'm happy all my children are already have their families of their own, was able to feed them and send them to school because of stenography. It's never late, really never late. So start it now and share even to seniors as a hobby when they read newspaper, they can write or whatever, they can make use of stenography, even teach their children. Okay, I hope you subscribe and invite others to do the same and comment if you like. You can comment on why I am so emotional tonight. So God bless everybody and see you starting tonight until there's life in me. God bless us all. Happy steady studying and reading most of our lessons would be in reading you have already superior and excellent professors in steno in youtube who can learn a lot also from them memorize their strokes so that when you read here in our book will gain speed in your reading and speed in stenography as well again good night for now god bless